Ooh. Good more. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, <coughs> oh, that's the first time I've spoken today, and that made a funny noise, didn't it? Oh, hello, everybody. Hang on. Mark, Marina, and Lynn. Hello, Marina. How are you, my love? <coughs> oh, I just had a bit of a coughing fit before I went live. <coughs> I've got more water here, so I'm all right. Morning, Claire. Hello, Marie, my lovely. Hello, Sandra. And how are you? I haven't forgotten about the bags, Anne, I promise you. Hello, Anna Sewing Nut. You're up early. Normally got a hangover this time on a Sunday, haven't you? Morning, Susan. Morning, Tannis. 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 Morning, Kath. Oh, now look, somebody messaged me on Facebook already. Morning, Shanaz. Claire, thank you. Hello bought this for me. You know Lo, who does the, the rings? She bought this for me. Hello, Susan. Hello, Teresa. <gasps> Good morning, Carol. Oh, hang on, let's get rid of that. Uh, hello, Sarah. That's Sarah Manchester. Right, hang on, somebody sent me a message. Oh, no, no, they didn't. Uh, Emma, hello, Paula, my lovely. Alison, how are you? Ali. Have you finished those masks yet, Ali? More now. Morning from very hot Eastbourne. It's freezing here today. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Morning, handsome John from Sun. Have you all got the sunshine then? Because we haven't here. It's grey here and cold. Morning, princess. What's it? How are you, my love? Oh, I haven't got my best glasses on. Hang on a second, though. My at home glasses on, not my posh glasses. Hang on. I can't see any mysteries without them, mind you. Uh, morning, Judith. Gloomy there. Amy LaHughes. Can't stay today because I'm with my mum. Oh, send my, send my love to your mum. Morning, Sue. Yeah, Tanis, not Tanis. Or Tanis, not Tanis. I never remember. It's like Janice, isn't it? Uh, morning, Nancy. Morning, Diane. She's multitasking, ironing and watching. Uh, Ursula. Hello, I love that name, Ursula. Morning, Martin. Sunny morning. Oh, you see, everyone's got the sun except for us. Hang on, let me turn you around so you don't... Oh, hang on, have I moved? There we go. There we go. Because apparently if I sit here, I've got writing across my forehead. Uh, morning, Paula. Morning, Leanne. Oh, she's got earphones in because her fella's watching the sport. Is there any sport on? Cool in Suffolk, says Margaret. Uh, Kath says, uh, baking a birthday cake. Oh, lovely. Leanne, grey and cold, inhales Owen. I know Hayley, you know Hayley, producer Hayley. She's gone to Western Supermarket with Joseph today and she's just put a picture on Facebook saying waiting for the sun to come out. She could be waiting a while. Hello, Angela. Hello, Lynn. Oh, it's sunny in Fife, apparently. Uh, Sarah Manchester, grey and chilly in Milton Keynes. Yes, because she's not from Manchester, she's Milton Keynes. Uh, chilly in Lincolnshire and grey, says Vanessa. Oh, it's, it's chilly and grey here today. Uh, Sunny Killarney in Ireland. Oh, lovely. Now, is Killarney... No, that's not near Bell Ballady Hop, is it? Ballady Hop. Uh, Warrington, it's sunny. Well, you've got to have something living in Warrington, haven't you? Roxanna, hand sewing while I watch... I've hurt my hand. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Morning, Marcia. How are you, my love? Donna's out of hospital. Hooray! Hooray, 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 hooray. Oh, great. Wendy, good morning, John, from Sunny Poynton in Cheshire. Oh, at least... It, now, you see, I spoke to Julie yesterday. She was going to a barbecue on the rural in Heswall, and it was grey and miserable yesterday. Cloudy and cool in Long Eaton. Uh, cloudy in Lincolnshire in Cherry Willing Willingham. That's a nice name. Sandra Sakalas, how are you, my lovely? Uh, what's it there? Uh, Sunny Bramhall, nice. Bernie, lovely to see everybody. Carol, morning. Hello, Kate. She's busy sewing while she's watching. She's not, they're normally all baking cakes, aren't you? Morning, everyone from Gloomy Leeds, says Jane. Eastbourne, humid. Now, it's not funny, Nancy, because uh, June's in Eastbourne as well, and she's got lovely sunshine. Morning, says Anne. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Not to have to no sun in Bristol. No. Brownie cooking in the oven. Ooh. Have your brownies got nuts in them, though? I can't have ones with nuts in them. Morning from sunny Cornwall. Roasting hot, says June. Uh, Chandler's Ford, hot and sunny. Oh, maybe it'll get hot and sunny here. Because it was supposed to be, isn't this weekend? The hottest weekend on record or something. Well, it doesn't look like that. <gasps> Claire's done 275 masks. Buenas dias. Buenas dias. Did you see Tony Denise? Do, do any of you know that when I used to do the jewellery, I used to have a guest on called um, Tony Denise. He was on TJC this week. Susan, overcast in Dublin. 
<coughs> Donna, 33 degrees in Norwich. Yeah, but is it sunny? Susan's just doing some blue work. Is that like red work in blue? Very dull in Litchfield. Sunny in Margate. The beach is filling up. Stay away, Sally. Stay away from the beach. Oh, yes. Now, Jackie. It's Jackie's birthday. Jackie on Ellesmere Port, right? It's his birthday. Dave, her husband. It's his birthday today. I saw that on Facebook earlier. How old is he, Jackie? Did you marry older for money? Younger for looks? What? Tell me. Uh, Laura, I'm sitting watching kind of the sound on as I'm cuddling a sleeky bit. Oh, hello, Laura. Don't want to wake the baby, do we? Uh, a grasshopper's just flown into the kitchen window. Blimey, Wendy. Overcast in Lincolnshire. Morning dawn. Morning uh, den. Hello, a tractor, my love. Beautiful day in Aberdeenshire, says Heather. It's all over. Valerie Chardin. Um, Cloudy in North Yorkshire. Oh, Maureen, how are you, my lovely? Oh, there's Heswell. Susan Heswell. What's the weather like today, Sue? Because um, <coughs> Julia might went to barbecue there yesterday afternoon. She didn't know what to wear. Morning, Nikki. That's Sue. If you're in Heswell, she owns the bookshop in Heswell. She always has fantastic speakers and everything. Bonada, says Marie, from Chabanos in Swansea. Uh, I'll be, oh, the beach was full at 8.30 this morning. What? <laughs> I know I'm not going to go like that. Sandra in St. Leonard's on seat now. Sandra, what did, I've liked something of yours this morning, I think, on Facebook. Michelle. Oh, I can't. How am I supposed to say that? Michelle says, morning, John, from my mum's. Alm be by Spittle in Lincolnshire. Is that near Louth? Lintuit. Red hot in Surrey. Sahara, sunny in London. Karen, sunny in Enfield. Oh, hang on, they're going too fast again. Uh, morning in Ulsaby in Lincolnshire. There's some strange names in Lincolnshire, aren't there? Too hot for sewing in Spain, says Janet. Uh, Wendy's in Norfolk by the beach. It's very overcast. Oh, dear. Morning, Phil. Morning all. Reasonable day in Edinburgh. Not raining at least. Jackie, good morning. Sue, good morning. Dundee is glorious. Martina, something different for me. Been sunbathing for the last 15 hours. One and a half hours. One and a half hours. Jilly. Oh, her mum lives near Normanby. Uh, right. Uh, hot in Saudi. Still there, Maureen. Oh, surely there's flights home now. The morning went out for a quick holiday. And it's been stuck out there. Uh, Helen says, should stay whore. No nuts, John. Make a gluten-free brownie. Oh, lovely. Julie makes a nice gluten-free brownie. Uh, just the same in blue, thank you. Paula, good morning. Uh, good morning, John and everyone from uh, Holpton. H H Holpton in East Yorkshire. Hello, Debbie, my love. How are you? Morning, Kate. Darling, Tewkesbury. Oh, it's just down the road, isn't it? In fact, I went past the sign for Tewkesbury, didn't I, on Wednesday when I was going to Western Super... Uh, Friday when I went to Western Superman. Good morning, John Hot and Sunny in London. Crazy Lorraine just finished the cleaning. Oh, Jackie, 69. So you married much older, much older than yourself then. Happy birthday. Oh, to Jackie's Dave. That's nice, isn't it? Somebody else sent me a message now. Uh, my sister was born in Heswell. My nan used to have a little post office there. Oh, sun just breaking through in Silverstone. Morning, sunny and hot in Norwich. It'll, I'm hoping it's going to come up here later. Uh, managed to turn you on, but very quietly. Oh, shh. Uh, morning, John, from a very hot Plymouth. Missing festival. Oh, I'm missing. Fe I miss festival of quilts as well. It's a shame, isn't it? Uh, should say hot and sunny in Scotland for the next month. Oh, because the schools go back. Yeah, of course. Michelle. Oh, hang on. Chatting to each other now where you all live. Uh, Gar oh, now it's Rachel. Rachel. Now, I can tell you now because she's told the world on telly this morning, right? So Rachel's Gary had um, a stroke this week, right? She said to me, don't say anything to anyone. Don't say anything to anyone. So I didn't tell anyone. I turned the telly on this morning. Then she's going, <gasps> anyway, uh, send, him my lots of, send him lots of love. Uh, Christopher, oh, now I want everybody to send love to Christopher today. Christopher's the one who comes in every week and he um, is one that owns that flower. Well, it's not a flower shop. He does big events and shops in London and everything. His wife is... Not very poorly, but she's going to have a serious operation this week. So we send all, all, our, all lots and lots of love. Morning from a gorgeous sunny Peebles on the Scottish borders. Morning, Jane Peplo. Lovely to see you too. Uh, oh, there you go. Jackie loves the bookshop in Heswell. So next time you're in, say hello to Sue. Because I know Sue because she was good friends with Chrissy, who lived next door to me in Twickenham. Uh, beautiful on the west coast of Scotland. Obviously, um, um, 
Scotland's the place to be today, isn't it? I don't know what it is. It shouldn't be hay fever because I've taken my pills and my nose spray today, but there's something going on. Maybe it's because it's windy. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the um, it's a different kind of pollen in the air. But I do feel a bit kind of funny today. Uh, Lynn says it's cloudy but warm in Cardiff. Uh, Phil says, hi, I'm new. Hello, Phil. Welcome. Everybody's welcome. Now, you Phil boy or Phil girl? Uh, Debbie, good morning. Brentwood, Essex. Beautiful and warm. Tony Tope. Hot and sticky in Devon. Well, what's the weather like, Tony? Don't need to know about your menopausal flushes. Jenny, hot and sunny in East Dorset. Suzanne, sunny Bracknell. Or if you want to be posh near, near Ascot. <laughs> I've got friends that live in Bracknell. Anyway, um... My thoughts on... Oh, yeah, look, there, that's took messages for Rachel there. Morning, Max. Uh, we're unique here in Lincolnshire. You certainly are. Well, I used to live in Louth, remember? Grimbleby. I went to Grimbleby County Primary. Morning, John. Cloudy but warm in Oxford, says Amanda. Doreen says hello, everybody. Crazy Lorraine says hello. Uh, Jilly says thanks for the message. Oh, yeah, because Jilly's got my lovely... Gerardine bought me this lovely glasses holder, which I took up to Crafters TV with me to have on the set so I didn't lose my glasses. And then we had to all leave for lockdown, didn't we? So it got all caught up. So she's sending it to me this week. Uh, 32 degrees in Barnet, says Martin from Borovix. Remember Borovix, the fabric shop. June loves my shirt. Lo bought me this. Princess, what's it? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Princess says, I'm high on morphine, but just thought I'd say I've got nothing else. Because not been doing anything else. Oh, Princess, just being here is lovely enough, isn't it? Morning, Joan from Sunny Hot Chandler's Ford, says Judith. Francis, Northumberland in Sea Houses. Now, I've been to Sea Houses. Did I film with Catherine Cookson in Sea Houses? I think so. Katie says hello from Cheshire. Oh, 23 years of marriage today. 23 years. Katie, oh, you don't say his name, just hubby. Uh, morning, Rosemary. Sarah, good morning. Maureen, uh, I can't, I cannot leave dogs or menfolk. Not holiday, building a railway. Maureen? Right, okay. So Maureen, I thought Maureen had gone on a holiday, but she's not. She's not on holiday. She's building a railway. That's news to me. Uh, not sunny in Derbyshire, but great weather for a bike ride. Oh, no, it is good. Mind you, mind you there's breeze today. Uh, just got back from door, dog, dog walking, dog walking, says Pauline. <coughs> like listening to you whilst doing the roast. Oh, I see traditional Sunday roast. Roasting here in Waterlooville. Now, I didn't know you were in Waterlooville. Because I've got my friend Judith, my friend Anne that live there. Uh, get better soon. Oh, that's nice. Shirley Moran. Just thought I'd missed you. Been out with the dogs. Cloudy here. Now, that's Shirley from Chester. She's from Chester. Oh, no, no. It's 10 on a Thursday and 11 on a Sunday. Uh, I'm at my static caravan in Eccles. And we have so much. We have to give so much detail. Not many of us on our beach wouldn't go. No, don't go to the beach, Wendy, anyway. Uh, morning, John, from a balmy Wexford in Ireland. Lots of Irish viewers today. Hot and sunny in Exeter. That's nice. That's from Elisa Jane. Bernie, tell us about Western Street. I'll do that now. I'll do that. I'll just get through all the hellos and the well, the thingies, and then I'll tell you. Not raining yet in Cumbria. It will do. Um, Christopher's making a mini tablecloth for his wife. So she's in hospital, right? And uh, Mahari is her name. And... Um, so they go and he goes in and does picnics and picnics and I took a picnic breakfast in this morning because she's in the ward, but she or in in the uh, well, I don't know where she is, but she's in the hospital and uh, he goes in to visit and takes her treats and everything. Uh, morning says Sharon. Uh, Maureen says she's missing the UK. Oh. Um, Michelle, oh, hang on, that's chatting to each other. You chat to each other. Morning to Margaret in Northern Ireland, in Hollywood. I'd love to live in Hollywood. Well, I used to, didn't I, when I stayed with Jackie Collins, but anyway. Uh, Deborah, morning from Attlebury, Norwich. I'm a Prenton Birkenhead girl. Very fa familiar with the world. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, love to your wife, Christopher. That's nice, isn't it? Should be in the garden getting ready for a new makeover. It's too hot. Oh, no, it's perfect for gardening here. It's freezing. Not freezing, but it's not warm. Morning, says Jemima. <coughs> Sun is breaking through in Pargate on the Wirral. Oh, there you go. Look, uh, Lingham's is a lovely bookshop in Heswell. Lots of uh, love for Sue and her bookshop today, isn't there? Sharon sending love and her hugs. Morning, says hello to Phil. Love to Christopher and his wife. Lots of love to Christopher and his wife. Oh, that's nice. 
Uh, good morning, this is my first time. Who's that, Christine? Welcome, Christine. We don't really do much. We just witter away and chat and answer questions and things like that. Yeah, go off, Christopher. Go and see your wife. Do your wifely, husbandly duties. It's lovely in Northern Ireland, says Doreen. Uh, oh, look, lots of messages for Christopher. Welcome to Philip. Can we talk about staying stylish after 50, male or female? Well, I'm not 50 yet, so I wouldn't know how to do that. Well, I'm only 40. Send, if people who are new are going to be thinking, blimey, he's had a hard life if he's only 40. Um, overcast and warm in Nottinghamshire. Doreen, Christopher, hope all goes well. Usually baked, but husband golfing, so he's indulging some sewing. Oh, when I'm on, that is. Uh, morning, Michelle. She's just down the road as well. Uh, best way. Oh, look, so many messages for Christopher and his wife. Look, morning, John, from an overcast little nest. And blimey, have we got the whole of the Wirral watching today? Um, lots of love to Christopher. Oh, you see, you're so lovely. Aren't you? Watching the squirrels running on the fence, stealing the walnuts. Have I been to Blubber House? What's Blubber House? I don't know what Blubber House is. Uh, love sea houses. Yeah, it's gorgeous there. Doe! Wet upset. A little workhouse. Ah, so, oh, that's Joe who's married to Phil, who I went to school with. I know. Uh, best wish, Christopher and family. Where's the spiritual? Oh, that's over that side of the room. I've turned. I've come around the other side of the room. Look, hang on. Let me let me show you. Hang on. Where's the? Oh. Oh, it's up there. There it is. Right there it is. But it's not flickering today. Not flickering. There's nobody here to talk to us today. But I've had, a, I've had um, since then, I've had um, a reading. I've had a reading from um, Paula in France. I've had a reading. Right. Um, oh, John enjoyed the long call. Oh, yes, we'll talk about that in a minute, actually. Uh, right. OK, Jean, morning from lovely. Uh, no, morning, John, from lovely sunny Durham. That's nice. She's just down from Crafter's Companion. Uh, Becky Alexander, first sorry, she's late. That's all right, Becky. You've been busy doing. I noticed she's bought... Um, Jenny Jackson's latest pattern. Uh, Sally, hello from Sally. Angela, good morning from Hazy Wiltshire. Debbie, love your sewing street column. You nailed it. I'll talk about that in a minute. Thank you very much indeed. Sonja says you're looking well. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I don't feel that I'm looking very well, but thank you very much indeed. Model or 12 inches to the foot railway. Oh, Question, is that a question? Uh, Lorraine says, congratulations on 23 years. We're 47 years. Blimey. She was a child bride. Crazy Lorraine. He was quite old, but she's got it. Oh, you've just moved. Tennis just moved. Tennis, Tannis. Just moved. How lovely to have all these updates. It is Laura, isn't it? But we'll get on with the chat in a second. <gasps> Karen from Wigan. Wigan? <laughs> Wigan? Sunny and breezy in Wigan. So in crepe this morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? So are you making a dress? Is it satin back crepe or is it just too normal crepe, wool crepe? Uh, uh, hugs for his, for his wife. I'm the Phil Archibald. Which sex? Well, I'll keep you guessing. I do a lot of knitting. Go on then, a male. Oh, that's good for you, Phil. Good for you. Uh, Christopher is in Marlow. Oh, no, not Christopher. Christine is in Marlow in Bucks. We were talking about Marlow the other day, weren't we? Or was that Harlow? Which is one where the complete angler is? Gloomy in Gateshead, going to make raspberry jam. Oh, lovely. Tibbermore in Perthshire. Good morning. I went to Wirral Grammar School. Did you, Jilly? Because I went to the school in Chester. Mind you, I'll have been there a lot. You'll have been at school before me. You know what I mean? Bernie, bookshop in Hellswell is lovely. Clear blue skies in Suffolk, says Sonja. Oh, Ali. Sorry I'm late due to bad-tempered ponies. Oh, dear. Hot in Millbrook in Cornwall, says Francis. Oh, Angela's got her grandson staying. Oh, first time since January. Oh, and Angela, don't stay here with us. Go and play with your grandson. Well, they're still in bed. Oh, no, it's half 11 or something, isn't it? should be up by now. Sunny North Devon says, Kate, Wirral is a wonderful place to live. I'm not biased, says Jacqueline. Uh, oh, tell us about the reading. I'll do that in a second, right? Shirley, voice not in sync. Hear you first, then you move your mouth. Never known you'd be slow before. Just refresh your box, Shirley, as they say. Just refresh your box. It'll be fine. Has anyone else got that problem today? Nearly choked on my coffee. Dave's seven months old and he been married 50 years in December. Oh, but that means he was only 19 when he got married. And you still, oh, blimey, that's good, isn't it? Donna, did you find out where you left? Yeah, the lamp kept dimming because the spirits were coming to visit, weren't they? 
I think it was my nan, actually. My nan, who's got Norman and Nelly with her. But I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Good morning from Lytham St. Anne's. That, thanks for the joy whilst working. Oh, your pleasure. Cloudy in Peterborough. <clears throat> uh, uh, right, hang on. Lean to it. No, we need more sun. We need more sun. Now, it's funny, Margaret. I went next door to see John and Chris yesterday. And they've got tomatoes on their tomato plant. They're all still green, but two of them have gone this funny mottled brown colour. And we couldn't figure out why. 30, old princess has only been married for 13 years. That's like, compared to the others, princess, that's nothing, is it? Becky Allen down the frost. I don't know how long she's been married to the to Ginger Ninja. Can't be long, because they're not that old, are they? Loved your write-up, I'll do that. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, thank you. Carol, very upset. Oh, right, yeah, we're not, uh, it, yes, I know what you mean, Carol. I'm not going to go on about that today, though. Hello, Anne, good hello, Maggie. Does that little doll pin to your board need clothes? It's got clothes somewhere, Maggie, because I did, that's the one I did when I did my demonstration. And then I tied it up and I can't find its clothes. So it's up there till I find its clothes. But thank you. Um, Shirley Morrell, 53, 53 years. Well, hang on. When did we work together, Shirley Morrell? I worked at Browns of Chester from, as a Saturday boy and a holiday boy from 1976. To about 1984, 85. Blimey. 86, 76, 86. But you weren't there at the beginning, were you? You weren't there in 1976, Shirley. But 76, 86, 96, 100, 660. Oh, that's 44 years ago. Oh, my word. Right. Uh, <clears throat> everyone said happy anniversary to Princess. Uh, what did you mean to say, Sandra Scarlett? I'll tell you now. Marlowe is the complete angler. Uh, Mon John Everett, Sunny in Brighton, says Janice. The complete angler is Marlowe. Oh, it is beautiful. Went to the Wirral County Grammar School too. Do you know? Do you know Jilly? Do you know Jilly Susan? Uh, right. Okay. Let's catch up. I won't tell you one. I'm not forty one. I'm only forty. Jilly. <gasps> if only. Uh, sewing groups. Good sewing groups down here. Oh, that's in. Um, where? Where? Yeah. Hope your reading was all you want to be. It was indeed. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, right. A big railway taking the men folk eight years. Oh, I'm confused, Maureen, now. Morning, Gray and Bodmin. Hello, gorgeous. Love to see you. Benny, who are you talking to? That's very sweet of you to say. Right. Uh, no, everyone else. I'm in sync with everybody else. It just shows how long it takes to get round, doesn't it, the message? Oh, you must have machines there, so you have to stay there. Uh, I've had my first visitor since January. Isn't it weird, Wendy? Isn't it weird when the first people come round? Uh, I live in Della Boli and the sun is coming out. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Playing games on TV with cousins. Oh, that's all right then. We won't stay long. I won't stay too long today. Blossom and rot on the tomatoes. Oh, lack of water. Now I said that. I said it was, oh no, I said it was too much water. But anyway. Yeah, you and I, we are RAF brats, aren't we, Jilly, you see. Uh, brownish tomatoes means potato blight. Becky Alexander Frost, six years married, 10 years together. He only looks about 25. Anyway, and he's got two kids as well. Happy anniversary, ours, 48 in September. Spoke too soon, it's cloudy and cool, it's here as well. Right, I'll get on, I'll get on. Auntie and uncle have been married 70 years. 70 years. Blimey. Six years married, 30 years together. Oh, you took a little while to get married then, Susan. Oh, RAF Sealand. Yes, 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 I know that. My dad was at Sealand. Oh, my dad was at Sealand as well. He was at Sealand when he met my mum. Um... Right, hang on, let's get on. I feel, oh, sorry, princess. Loved your column, thank you. I'll talk about that in a minute. It may be a dress or it could end up in the bin. I don't have a good track record with crepe. I never used to have, and then, which foot are you using on your machine, Karen? Um, and then I suddenly, what show was I working on? And we had loads of crepe, and suddenly I, I learned to love it. I love working in crepe. Uh, feeling a bit left out with all the celebrations. 23 years divorced. Well done, Ange, well done. Uh, simply sewing mag. What about you simply sewing, Mag? Princess, it not arrived yet. Mine only arrived yesterday, I have to tell you. I had to go and buy one in Waitrose. Uh, Carol's been around 36 years. Annette's been 17. Been 17 for two weeks when I got married 43 years ago. Oh, blimey. Seven years divorce. Good on you. Right, I'll catch up. Let me catch up with these. Oh, and we're in sync now. Oh, Kate's just booked a cottage in Port Isaac for September. Have we done the right thing? It's Port, where's Port Isaac? Is that in South Africa? Good morning from Bath, says Wynn. <clears throat> right, I'm up to date, I'm up to date. So let's talk about this, first of all. Have you got this yet? 
your Simply Sewing magazine, look. Now, I, I was quite chuffed. Right? Oh, there's Lo. We've been talking about you, Lo. Um, so there I am on the front cover. And I, I do get a free, I do get a free magazine, but the free one only arrived yesterday and I had to go to Waitrose. I got out, I ran out of time. Right, but look, so I'm on the front cover there. Then you open to the first page and I'm on the first page there. Oh, Cornwall, St. Isaac, not South Africa then. Wendy's magazine arrived yesterday. Then I'm there again. Oh, hang on, no, not there. Then I'm there again on about the fifth page. Um, and then on my page page, where is it? Here you go. Double page spread as my first feature. Everyone's saying, I tell you what everybody's saying is they love the honesty. But you should, you know me by now. I can't, I don't tell. I don't tell. Who's sending grumpy, angry faces? Where were they? Where were they? They haven't come on my screen yet. Martina, I don't know. I haven't got them on my screen. Shirley lived up the road for sea. Lived to you in Hawar... Oh, well, like, Harden, you call that. It's spelled Hawarden, but it's Harden. <gasps> anyway, so there you go. So that's my first one. All about Great British Sewing Bee. Um, do read if you can get it. There's Mark, look. He doesn't tune in anymore, does he? Oh, actually, I think they might have gone on holiday. Morning, Jan. Morning, Jan. What's the matter, Maureen? What's not on your screen? Anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it reading it. It's all about Great British Sewing Bee. And my, um, oh, thank you. Very well written article. Thank you very much indeed. No, I hadn't had my hair cut, had I? It was, when it was during, lock actually, that picture was taken on my birthday. Was taken on my birthday when um oh Shirley's magazine hasn't arrived yet. Mine only arrived yesterday, Shirley. Mine only arrived. Can you see the breeze? Is my hair moving? Yeah, look, look at the breeze. We've hatched two ducklings from Waitrose eggs. Oh, you see, that worries me. That the eggs that we're eating can turn into chickens. No grumpy faces, only happy ones here. Yeah, Martina, where did you see all the grumpy faces? We didn't see the grumpy faces. Anyway. People have asked about this. Somebody asked what size this dress goes up to. It goes up to a size 24. This is your free, this is your free, one of your free patterns. And it's the babe, the child one and the grown up one. Child sizes and the grown up one in there. Oh, Alex says hello. Oh, there you go. Look, Alex is watching. So I didn't see Julie come in. So that's my sister-in-law, Julie, right? Alex, my niece, my gorgeous niece, she took that picture on my birthday. She's saying hello. She's in quarantine at the moment. Uh, yours will arrive any time, Michelle. It should do. Mine only arrived yesterday. Uh, right. Morning, John. Big hello from daughter Amy. Jackie got hers yesterday. You see, Jackie on the world. Morning, John. Uh, morning, John. Hang on. Morning, Neve. Um, right. OK. And then this is the other pattern. This is the other free pattern you get. The strip T. Oh, I see. Because it's got a stripe down the back. It doesn't have to have a stripe down the back, does it? Anyway, that one's size 6, 6 to 20. Oh, Julie, they want to know how scruff is. How scruff? Oh, Karen's not got her magazine yet. Karen, well, that'll be the post in Wigan, I suppose, won't it? Uh, yes, Julie says, we came in earlier. was listening with Raz and Mike and me. What size does the maxi dress go up to? I just said that, 24. <clears throat> size 24. It does come in a paper envelope, Janet. It does come in a paper envelope. Oh, look, morning, John's Alex. Take care. Need to knit to Tesco and get my copy. Yeah, yeah, they've got them in the supermarket. They've got them in the supermarket. Yeah, free pa Now, the ones in the supermarket come in a plastic wrapper and the ones that come through the post come in a, in a, a paper envelope. The eggs have to be incubated, fine to eat otherwise. Oh, so did you buy them and then put them in the airing cupboard then? Right, uh, Nancy received a magazine yesterday. Quick flick through as her daughter here for the day. Uh, no, I know you don't get chickens from duck eggs, <laughs> but... It's just weird that you buy an egg, buy an egg that you're going to eat. And if you put it in the airing cupboard, it could turn into a duckling. Oh, the grumpy faces were feeding up along. Oh, on the side there. I wonder who that was from then. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. The apron dress is lovely. Can't wait to make it, says Jane. Loved your double page spread. Thank you. <coughs> just as well I wasn't the double page spread eh, in the centre. Can you imagine? No, this is this is an apron dress. Look, apron dress set. Oh, 
Hang on. Oh, is it only an apron? I thought it was a dress. Why does it say apron dress set on it then? Oh, I'm a bit confused. Adult dress, it says on, on there. Adult dress, look. Oh, I'm confused now. So it's only, oh, it's only an apron then. I thought it was a dress. Never mind. Is there a dress? It'll not be a dress set there, will it? Anyway, hang on, where are we up to? The apron dress is lovely. Can't wait to make it. Got that one. That's the apron. Scruff is a lot better. I managed a little slither of bacon with his tablets this morning. Should be having bacon. Back now, customers. Married for 37 years. Oh, Janice. I just wish we had a WH Smith's. I don't know if it's in Smith's. I suppose it is. Uh, good morning from North Coast, Northern Ireland. I haven't got my magazine yet either. No, everyone, you're all saying it's an apron. Why have they called it a dress then? Look. So it's an apron, not a dress. It's an apron, not a dress. It's an apron. Right, Gerardine, I'm in work. Love your two-page spread. Take care. Hope meetings went well. I'll talk about my meetings in a second, yeah? Uh, it is worrying. Ducks in your shop brought eggs. You see that? I don't understand that, but anyway... Morning, John from sunny Devon, says Jill. A bit late to the party, but let Nate them never. Lean to it. It will be a little bit drafty around the back. It's got an open back. Why have they called? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ring them up tomorrow and ask them why they've called it a dress then, won't I? Uh, hello, John from Australia, says April. Bernie, that's upsetting. I'm a veggie. I buy eggs from a shop. Then they develop. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hope grumpy faces weren't me leaning on the iPad. Oh, don't worry. I didn't even see it, Anne, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, centrefold, yeah. Not like the Burt Reynolds one, though, is it? Uh, morning from the Isle of Wight. It's scorching there. Oh, that's nice. It's the style of the dress. You need to wear something else underneath it. Right, thank you. Too small for Janet. Well, when I do my show, I'm going, we're going to do how to hack a pattern. Open it up, then you're... Oh, yeah, but I'll never get it back in when I've opened it up. Yeah, I've got it now. Look at the picture... Look at the picture on the back of the pattern. Yeah, I've seen it now. I've seen it now, look. You could wear it on the... Yes, Jane, if you want to keep your bum cool, you could wear it as a dress. No one put grumpy faces on purpose. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, it's, the pattern is like the lady from Yorkshire. It is Jenny, Jenny Smith. There's a maxi duvet cover dress inside the magazine. Is there? Whereabouts is that then? I've only read my page, you see. Oh, I'm confused now. Oh, look at this. I mentioned here as well. I joined one of John Scott's Facebook Lives videos recently. And it was such a pleasure to engage with his followers. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Um, right, hang on a sec. So there's a pattern for a dress in here as well. Is that? I'll have a look. Uh, right. Hepworth. That's the one. That's the one. Hepworth Jam. That's the one. I'm thinking I'll be adding a back part to the apron. Yes, yes, you can do do that. Are you still vegetarian? Yes, I am vegetarian. Um, I don't know if I could go vegan because I love eggs too much. I do love eggs, you see. Uh, they don't sell it in RWH Schmidt's, but they're doing Waitrose. Yes, that's where I got mine from, from Waitrose as well. Jean got hers this week. Great write-up. I like the pencil case. Was there a pencil case in there? I was like, oh, I'd better read the rest of it, hadn't I? Never understood why eggs are regarded as vegetarian. No, you see, it's weird, isn't it? It is a, it's another story, another question that we can cover another day, isn't it? Uh, oh, Linda's late. Don't worry, Linda. It could be a sexy apron dress. Well, do you know what? Crazy Lorraine, the other night, right? When, when was it really, really hot? Was it Friday night or Thursday night? She slept in the hammock in her garden with no clothes on. There, told the world now. Uh, Derek says, good morning, John. Sorry I'm late. Was busy picking songs for my sing-along stream tomorrow evening. Oh, what's that, Derek? How do we watch that? Derek, send me a... Oh, you see, Wicked Oklahoma Sound Music. Can you sing something for Seven Brides as well? Uh, are you singing? Are you singing then? Can you send me the link? I love... It's like the Elaine Page show, but with Derek, I suppose. Page 55 for the duvet dress. Thank you. Oh, yes, look. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, don't we know that lady? Don't we know that lady? Anyway. Glad you see you've got Norman. Yeah, look, there he is, Norman up there. Uh, Lowe is at Quince's Honey Farm. So many sunflowers. What size is it? Oh, hang on. 
I don't know. If, does it have a size on it? No pattern needed, it says. Oh, well, I suppose then you just take it from what? Okay, you can make it any size because you take a T-shirt. It's like an Alistair one. You take a T-shirt to make your pattern with. So just whatever size you are. I think John should make the apron and wear it next time. Okay, then. You wouldn't see much of it, though. You'll only see this little bit, won't you? Right, hang on, I've missed loads of... I'm going to tell you about Western. Butler's in the bath, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you, oh, I'll tell you right why. Okay, so years ago, I'm going back to when I was on this morning, a friend of mine was having a dinner party and he'd ordered a butler in the bath, right? And the butler in the bath didn't turn up. And I said, I was invited to the party and I said, do you know what, I'll do it. I'll do it. So I stood at his front door and he lived in one of those houses where it was in London, just by uh, John Lewis's down Oxford Street, you know. And you literally came in through the door and there was no room on the ground floor. There was just, you walked into the door and the stairs went straight up to the lounge. So I was at the top of the stairs where nothing but an apron handing out champagne. How was I to know that there was a journalist from the Sun newspaper? One of the guests at the dinner party. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, it's been so hot in my flat. I've been naked all week. Thank you for that, Wendy. We won't lose that picture from our brains. Okay, Sue says, those eggs must have been fertilised, so not the usual eggs you buy. Oh, okay, so perhaps because they were duck eggs, maybe. How do you meet and go? I'll tell you about that now. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't mind telling you. Would see you lots if you gave us a twirl. Imagine if I gave you a twirl and I haven't got anything on underneath the apron. Okay. I think many free range suppliers have cocks running around with the hens. Oh, yes. You see, that's good. Well, it was a duck. It was a duck. It wasn't a hen. Anyway, no, no pictures, Jilly. No pictures, just a story in the Sun newspaper that week. Yes, I'm at the piano. See me, I've got follow. Right, okay. So what's the... What's the link then, Derek? Put it here so other people can do it and send me a private link so I can go and watch. What's a butler in the buff? Not bath, buff. B U F. Butler in the buff. No, not the bath. Not the bath. <laughs> Lots of people now saying that. My daughter goes online to the big gay so long and loves it. It's been great for her mental health. Oh, that's like, is that what Derek's doing then? Oh. So, anyway, so that's that. I spent yesterday making these. They're my Liberty, um, well, that one's not Liberty, is it? That one's, um, I can never remember a name. Anyway, look, they're Liberty. They're on both sides. They're on both sides. Look, Liberty on both sides. Tanya Whelan. Isn't that Tanya Whelan? Or is it Modo? I can't remember. But it's got Liberty on the other side. They're for um, Francesca's mum. You know Francesca, who you've been making the dolls for? there for her mum because she's quite poorly and um, she obviously needs a mask. Well, for some reason she wears a mask in the house because on a Monday night we do um, a uh, quiz, a pub quiz and we're all there in our squares and then uh, Francesca's mum, Nonna, we call her Nonna, she's in the one, well on mine she's usually in the top right hand corner there and she's lying in bed and she's got a hat on and she's wearing a mask. Right, okay. Uh, Claire's saying lovely. I don't quite know what Claire's saying lovely too. Right, okay. So, that's that. Right, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you then. This is, this. I should have start, started with this really, shouldn't I? Thank you, Princess. They're lovely, aren't they, in the Liberty Fabrics? Beautiful. I only had black elastic. I didn't have any white elastic. But um, I made a Liberty lawn mask and they're so like to make. Yes, now these aren't lawn. These are quilting weight. But Dulcie's been making some Liberty lawn ones and she said they're really lovely to wear. Really, really lovely to wear. Um, now, as I said, I should have said this right at the beginning, shouldn't I? The John Scott Show is definitely happening, thanks to you and all your suggestions. Oh, in fact, in fact, in fact, I need to ask you a question. So I'll get this in, I'll get this out of the way and then you can start sending me suggestions. Yet, yeah, Lo, everyone, that's why we were talking about you earlier. Lo bought me this shirt and made me these rings. <clears throat> oh, there's Penny from down the end of the village. Penny, was it you making all that noise? That the last three nights... There's been drunken noise in the village at night time. Anyway, so the show is definitely happening. The John Scott show is definitely happening. It launches on the 24th of September. <clears throat> the advert will be going out next week for you to start subscribing to it. Look how many people have said yes, that they're going to come on. They're the sewing guests, right? So the pe these are people who said they're definitely coming on, right? Joe Carter... Becky Alexander Frost, Angie Atwood, Emma Bradford, Victoria Carrington, Joy Edgington, Sally Ann Harrison, 
uh, Jenny Jackson, Lisa Lamb, Helen Mianon, Sally Stevens, Louisa Galt, Ellen Saunders, Tracy Simmons, Helen McCook, Alistair, you should be watching that, Alistair, uh, Jules, Jane Greenoff, Susan Briscoe, Jess Entwistle, Mrs. H, Low Reed, she's not doing sewing, she's saying how to make a ring, uh, Anna Sewing Nut, Deb Carpenter, Becky from Changs, no, Becky Swan from Changs, um, Karen from Wigan's coming on, Pinhole Quilters are coming on, Amanda Little's coming on, Tilly Rose Vintage, Hammer Bradley Cohen, Mark Francis, Lorraine, Crazy Lorraine's coming on as a guest, Amanda Wyatt, Jennifer Taylor and Janice Hobbs. So far, I've got Fran coming on, you know, Fran, my, um, Fran, who are you making the dolls for? She's coming on now. So this week, the advert will go out for you all to start um, subscribing for it. Do you know what? Yes, you've got to pay for it because that's how we pay for the whole show to go on. It's less than a pound an hour, right? Less than a pound an hour. It's two hours every Thursday, 11 to 1. I'll put it on here. Don't worry. I'll put it on here. I'll put it on my Facebook. I'll put it on my Instagram. Put it everywhere because I need lots and lots of you to be able to... I need you to subscribe so I can pay for people's expenses to come on the show and all sorts of things like that. So it's your own dedicated show, right? Every Thursday at 11 o'clock, right? 11 o'clock. Mandy Short says she has, but she hasn't officially she hasn't officially replied yet, but I'm sure she will do. So it's going to be a two hour show every Thursday, right? Oh, remind me about that later because I can't write that down now. So I'll let you know when you need to sign up. I'll let you know when you need to sign up. Right. So let me tell you, right. So it's a two hour show. One hour of it in the middle is pure sewing. So if Joe Carter comes on or if Mandy Short comes on or Louisa Galt comes on, it's like a sewing quarter demonstration, but we're not selling anything. Their websites will be there. Hello, Alex, my love. Their websites will be up there so you can go and buy what they're making, but I'm not going to be selling it. So I'm not a shopping channel. I'm literally going to be... I've not knocked the thing, look. I'm literally going to... Jilly, you can come on. What are you going to make? Right? Right. But now, but now... Yeah, oh, no, Jeanette, Jeanette, it's there all the time. It's like, it's like YouTube right? or Netflix. It's there all the time. But you know what? There's also going to be a community so you can all chat to each other. You can all swap each phone numbers. You can all message each other. It's all very, very, very safe. And you can watch it as many times as you like. Right. You can watch it as many. In fact, we'll get Derek to come on and sing and play the piano. Good morning, Pauline. Um, it's £10. Right. So, Carol, it's £10 a month. But if you buy six months, it's only £49.99. So you get it a bit cheaper if you buy them all in one go. So it's £10 a month. Ten pounds a month, or forty nine ninety nine for six months. So there you go. So it's two pounds a week because some weeks have got five weeks in. Remember, um, Carol. Right, but this is where I need to ask you a question. Right, so in the middle section, there's an hour long sewing demonstration. One of the other guests could also be a sewing person, but there's all every single week there is a whole hour of sewing. Right, but we've got people like Jeffrey Archer's coming on to talk about his new book. Do you know what I mean? We've got authors coming on. We've got chefs coming in. It'll be it'll be a website, Wendy, that you log into. It'll be a website that you log into. Um, oh, no, no. You can watch it whenever you want. Uh, you want uh, there's a track to Hello, Merv. Um, it can be brilliant. It is going to be brilliant, right? But she's going to duck diapers. She's going to bring cakes. Right. OK, 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 OK. Right. So so not only... Well, I'll be doing it from the studio and I'll put pictures up in the studio later because it's cool. It's completely gorgeous. It's like a big posh house. Hello, Ben, my love. Uh, not only. Oh, Ben, you can come on as a guest as well. Yes, Jean. So what happens is you'll be when you've subscribed, you will get a password and a login name and you can log in any time you like to see it. So you can either. So so the live show will be like this, right? You'll be able to message in. There's a big screen. So I'll be standing up or I could be sitting here or standing over there or sitting over there. Right. Um, yes, Carol, it's PayPal. It's PayPal. It'll be paid for by PayPal. Um, anyway, anyway. So what else would you like to see? Uh, Diana Cooper about angels. Now we've got the first lady. I've got a lady called Carrie. What's she called? Diana Cooper. I've got a lady called Carrie on in the first week. Who's a psychic -y goddess lady. Um, so, <clears throat> so, so uh, who else is on the first week? I can't remember. So I'm going to get Sarah Green to come on. I'm going to get Carol McGiffin to come on. I'm going to get Bonnie Langford to come on. You know, like all my show busy chums and everything. At least Lucy Benjamin. I'll get Lucy Benjamin on as well. Um, 
there'll be Zoom interviews, because obviously still in this day and age, we all got to be, the, the studio is way big enough for us to have guests in, but I know a lot of people, are, and the other thing is, is in, in Western Supermare, Beverly, it's going to be £10 a month or 49 99 for six months. Works out at less than a pound an hour. I know, less than a pound an hour. And I, I, in an ideal world, I'd obviously do it for free. But there are expenses, the electricity bill to pay, there's a cameraman to pay, there's, you know, things like that. So that's where the um, polymer clay button, what on earth is that? But not just sewing and crafts, what else? What else would you like? Hello, Lorna. What else would you like to see? Uh, I'm going to get Liz to come on. You know, my Liz, who, my friend Liz, who's the publisher of all the sewing magazines. She's going to come on. Hemming. Hemming what? Do you mean Hemming? Hemming. Pam Minihani cleaning out sewing room. Oh, Gail from Endless Threads. You see, these are all still sewing ones. And if all the people I've got to do the sewing ones come on, I've got enough to all for almost a year now. I don't know what polymer clay is. I'll have to look at that one. You could host with subjects on the spirit. I'm going to, Pauline. Don't you worry. I'm going to do that as well. The lamp, since I've had, no, the lamp's not flickered since. Other options as well as paper. Oh, right. I'm not in charge of any of that. So who was that that just put that? And I can't, I think you can pay with your credit card. I think you can pay with your credit card as well. But um, I think it has to go through the PayPal system or something like that. Uh, photographer, oh, that's a good one, photography. Because the studio's got room, it's got a garden and everything like that as well. But we're also going to go on location. So like Pinhole Quint Quilters, you know, in um, Pershaw, we're going to go there and do one show, complete show there from live. Oh, look, Ben's in the garden, in the shades. Ben, it's cold and grey here. No, we're not doing Butler in the Buff. Oh, now Michelle's coming on to do felting when I've booked her. She, she's coming on to do felting, yeah? Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's nice, Sally. What a lovely idea. The subscription will make a nice gift. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Uh, would you be doing anything with gardening and food processing from the garden? We are going to be doing gardening because we've got, we've got uh, people who do gardening coming on. Christopher, who was on earlier, his wife's not very well, he's coming on to do flower arranging because that's what he does. Um, the one, the garden, I don't know if there's any vegetable, at the moment all there is in the garden is a great big shed, they're going to have to pull the finger out because the shed's got to be moved. I don't know if we'll have any vegetables, we might have to do, do you know what we might have to do Mark, it's Dulcie, my friend Dulcie was telling me about her friend Fiona, and when she sold her last house, the garden was a bit of a mess, and there was a big, there were those raised vegetable beds, she went to Waitrose and she bought like the carrots with the tops on and lettuces and cabbages and she planted them all in the garden for the open house so it looked like she had a really really fantastic vegetable patch but they're all just bought from the supermarket um thank you Anne cross stitching oh hang on here we go my cross stitching patterns will be published in a month okay Martina I can't afford it'll have to be when you're over here anyway Martina because at the moment I won't be able to afford your flight from from Germany Fleur from Rocks and Chains. Now, is she on Jewelry Maker, Fleur? I seem to remember they have a they have a guest on there, don't they, called Fleur? Oh, Interior Designs, that's a nice one. Interior Designs. Uh, Mike says, can you have a medical hour? He can cut, no, Mike, I was going to ask Mike to do a medical, but it won't be for a whole hour. He'd have to be one of my 15 minute slots because the, 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 the whole premise of the show is that the hour one is a sewing one. But Mike, that's Mike, my brother. He can come on and do medical, yeah. Julie's going to come on and do um, gluten-free brownies one week. And she's also, Oh, yes. Well, Annette, I will. Once everyone else is paid, I'll pay myself as well. Don't you worry. I will get a pay myself. Uh, how to declutter. Oh, what, Princess, I'll just pop round to your house and I'll do that for you. Oh, zips. Right now. Yes. We're going to be doing in the sewing section. We're going to be doing things like all the different kinds of zips, how to do a full bust adjustment, how to hack a pattern. Right. So, oh, no. OK. So see this pattern here. Right. It goes up to a size 20, but the sleeves are attached. Right. We're going to do things like take a commercial pattern and make it bigger or make it, you know, diff all the different ways you need to hack a pattern. We're going to get that on. Gardening. You bake them, then paint them. What's that, Audrey? What's that? You bake them, then paint them. I didn't see your first message, Audrey. Block patterns. Oh, yes, we're definitely doing that. You mean, you mean like, um, 
You mean like the tulip pattern and the, the snail and the milk churn and all that? Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Right, okay. Lo says, my mum has been visiting recently. She keeps... Oh! Visiting, yeah, from, from heaven. Been visiting from heaven, I was going to say. Uh, can we have some gardening and home decor? Well, Karen and Wigan, do you want to do a bit of gardening while you're here? Because Karen and Wigan will be coming on to do... I presume Karen and Wigan will be coming on to show you how to make a frock. You know the amazing frocks she makes. Um, honey and bee products. Honey and bee products. Do you do, do you do, have you got someone? Well, no, they, ideally these people who, if they're going to come into the studio, they need to be, because I could get to Western Super Mary in an hour and a half, but obviously some people can't, you know what I mean? Stained glass, that's a nice one, Ema. Oh, actually, I think we've got a stained glass one. We've got wood carving. We've got painting. We've got someone coming to painting. We're doing book reviews. Yes, attractor, you will be able to set up a direct debit. That will all be sorted. Uh, Jean says she's opened the shop next week. Oh, Jean, but you're not going to miss it. You'll be able to see it whenever you want. Whenever you want to see it, you'll be able to see it. Nikki French. She Because what we thought about the book one was we thought that on a uh, Friday, we, we were only doing once a month the book one, but we put, what I tell you, you used to do it. Simon Mayo used to do it on his radio show. So we will put the first chapter of a book onto the website. So you can all go and read it beforehand. Then we'll interview the author the following Thursday. And then if you're interested, you can then go off and buy the book. I'm not doing any selling, right? There's no selling whatsoever from the channel at all. Author Nikki French. Psychic and astrology, we're definitely doing that soon. Jewelry making with silver clay. Is that a person, silver clay? Is that their name? Hang on. Your friend Sheila. Oh, my model friend Sheila. She should just come on and be there because everyone adores her. Feng Shui. Oh, Jane Alcock, Feng Shui. Now, let me just explain about Jane Alcock, right? Jane Alcock is desperate to come on, but Jane Alcock is a very busy lady. And obviously uh, she's on with Natasha once or twice a month, isn't she? But she'll definitely be coming on in the new year. She'll definitely, definitely come along New Year, but she hasn't got a day free for me. So I don't want you thinking, oh, where's Jane Alcock? Has he not asked Jane Alcock? Jane Alcock was one of the first people I asked, right? But she's a very, very busy lady. Uh, but she will be coming on. She will definitely come. Do you know what I might do one week is just do um, a Zoom. Because if she's at work, if I do 11 till 1, she must have her lunch break during that. She'd come on do a quick 10 minute interview, couldn't she? Just to chat. Because we doesn't need you don't need to be doing anything, do you? We just chat and everything. Jane, you're up for that, right? Good, brilliant. Upholstery, brilliant. We'd have to be. Yeah. Why don't you write a book of your? I'm going. I'm doing that, Joan. That's being done. Don't worry. Skincare, right? Nadine Baggett's coming on to do skincare. Definitely, I'll put skincare into that one. She might have to do hers from home as well because she's very busy as well. But uh, right, my daughter is a. In law is a lecturer at Bolton University teaching theatre and film prosthetics. Oh, maybe she can't. Now, the only thing with that, Pam, is I thought about this because my friend Jane's a makeup artist and Ariane Poole's a friend of mine. But I don't know if they'd be able to do, they would have to bring somebody in their bubble or do the masterclass from their house with somebody in their bubble, mightn't they? Because, because, um, they might not, they couldn't, I couldn't bring models into the studio because of, I don't know where I suddenly went then, because of social distancing. But that's a good one, prosthetics. That's a nice one. Uh, right, when's it start? Now, you haven't joined yet, Susan, because you can't join yet. It'll be this week. The advert will go out this week of where you go to join. It's called the John Scott Show. Come over to Berlin for Christmas to film the Christmas market. That might be a bit too expensive for us in the first year, Martina, because we'd have to pay for... Cameraman, me. That's all we'd have to bring, I suppose. And then our flights and our hotel and everything like that. What about presenter in the buff? I'm not doing that again. Oh, hang on. At Lowestone Silver Clay. So that's not a person then. Um, Pauline says, have we ever heard this, this before? Veg. What? Painting veg. Styling. I was going to do, yes, because um, some fashion tips. Yeah, put that down there. I'll do that. That's easy enough. Gardens to visit. Well, that's a nice one. But we'd have to remember we should get somebody from the National Trust on or something. Lynn to it, 24th September. How about well-being? Yeah, that we're definitely having well-being on it. Definitely, definitely. More, morning, Mary. 
fern oh i love fern she she um, she might not do gardening because she's busy doing um writing books now isn't she number one bestseller oh beverly can we do some styling my son gets married next year and i've got no idea what to wear oh what color are you going to go for beverly history of fashion oh that's an interesting one right now we talked about this julie we talked about pets and animals but we don't know how how would we what kind of thing would you like to see within a pets thing i quite like to go to chester zoo but i don't think they'd let me in filming there but um let me know what kind of thing you mean by pets because i don't know what i don't know what um how we'd actually do that i mean I I, will i bring like snakes into the studio or would we bring monkeys into the studio i don't know how it would work uh princesses planners what does that mean princess but what's the time we've got to be careful <gasps> oh blimey, we're up. i thought we weren't gonna have enough to talk about this morning patricia just some finishing that's nice isn't it uh what's the sue say fleur from jm is fab there you go i started with silver clay and jeff started making jewelry with cutlery oh is that like your christmas tree that you made with spoons on it uh all sounds fabulous thank you how about bsl would be good for deaf so is too <laughs> I don't know what BSL is. Sign language. Sign language. Oh, that's an unusual one. Yeah. Well, we've got a year's well, six months to start with. Sea glass jewellery. Sea glass, don't know what that is. Uh, blind, Roman blind making. Get my friend Charlotte on to do that. Planners and declutter. Crystal healing. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Aroma therapy. 24th of September, Amory. 24th of September. Flair, Flair, not Flair, Fleur has left jewelry maker and now does her own kit. Oh, what's Fleur's last name then? Have I written that down? Blocks, no, rocks and chains. I can go and find her. That's not a problem. Oh, a tractor. I'm working on a range of children's linen clothes. You could help me launch it. Of course, a tractor. Where do you live, a tractor? At kiddies. Because the way it would work is you could come on you could show your patterns because i don't i'm not doing selling i'm not doing any selling you could sew patterns i show kitty's clothes show your patterns show what fabrics you use and then people could go to your website to buy it because i'm not selling anything uh craft magazine oh yeah magazine reviews that's a good one of course they'd all have to be my simply sewing ones herbal medicine oh no I, i'd love to do that i think i have to be careful with herbal medicine don't i because i have to do a this might not work thing before it, you know what I mean? Pauline, uh, Dawn Cameron Dick, who's she? Dawn Cameron Dick, applique mini quilts. We've gone back to the sewing again now, haven't we? Mini quilts, there's loads to do here. Now. Polymer buttons, loads if you keep asking about polymer buttons, I've got no idea what they are. Right, Christmas decorations, right, we're a bit late for this year, Kirstine. But we'll do that next year, maybe. Loved your article in the magazine. Thank you, Laurie, my love. Renovating second-hand furniture. Oh, Julie, come on, do that. She's um just done that with some of her chairs in her kitchen. I don't know how they've turned out. There's loads of ideas, aren't there, Christine? Zips, done that. I've only just realised from Becky Alexander Frost, they come in different sizes. Angela, where have you been? Right, oh, hang on. MCC Motorbike Company. MCC Motorbike Company. But they won't bring motorbikes on, will they? Hang on. Oh, remedies, natural remedies. Well, that's a nice idea. Blimey, we're going to have loads, aren't we? are going to have too many times. Free motion So that's on. I've, I've mentioned, I've, I've messaged, um, I've messaged um, Helen Newton, but she's not got back to me yet. Making Christmas presents next year. Princess, garden, oh, uh, John Scott, Pla John Scott Planner. That would have to be for next year now, wouldn't it? Uh, I love Karen's Rock said, right, makeovers. We can't do makeovers yet because obviously I can't have people in the studio and we can't touch them. But hair and makeup tips. Look, I've gone on to the, uh, I've gone onto a second page look already. That's from Louise. Sugar crafting. What's that? Don't know what sugar crafting is. Oh, excuse me. Linda, a lot of people haven't had their magazine yet. Mine only arrived yesterday. Yeah, Mark's coming on. I've booked Mark. Mark's not only going to be sewing, he's also going to be playing the piano, just so you know. Vix is coming on to sing. Uh, book binding. Oh, blimey. What's, I don't even know what that is. Well, obviously it's binding a book, but 
Occupational therapist. Occupational therapy. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to come back to you in a couple of weeks. I'm saying, does anyone know an occupational therapist? Uh, Roman blinds have got that already. Upcycling, got that. Uh, June's a... Oh, that's, that's not talking to me. Look up Kerry. Just Kerry. Is that her name? Kerry. Sugar crafting. Right, okay. Smocking. Oh, that's... Yeah, the, no, proper smocking. Not like they did on Great British Sewing Bee, yeah. Book binding. Fabric. Now, I think we've got somebody on to do silk screening and fabric painting. Okay. Mr. Motivator, he's not coming on. Uh, what about shout outs for charities and things that need to be made like dolls and blankets? Yes, of course, we'll be doing that, Kerry. Uh, Tim Wild, Ascension Practitioner. What on earth is that? Wild. Ascension Practitioner. I've got no idea what that is. Right, okay. Product Silver Clay. Got lots of people saying that. Shabby Sheet. Loose. Lucy's not replied to her email. I've asked Lucy. She's not replied to her email. Jennifer Taylor was on the list. Yes, she's definitely coming on. Alistair's coming on. Right, okay. So Alistair, last week, sent me a message saying, oh yeah, I'll come. I'll come. Whatever you need, babe. Whatever you need, doll. Right. And then yesterday, when I was at the gym, I got 28 messages from him. I think he'd been on the, in the garden, right? I got 28 messages from him, right? Yesterday afternoon. And I was only at the gym for an hour, right? Hang on, I'm just going to tell you what he says. Here we go. Right, he says, um, yes, I'd love to come. I've got a few, I've got a few requests. One must have accommodation, train fare, a song for when he arrives, diamonds. He wants Shirley Bassey there. He wants Verve Clico, not Moe. He wants dark chocolates, not white. He wants his own dressing room. He wants flaming Zambuca on completion. He wants gifts from Liberties. Um, he wants uh, dinner, but no shellfish. Vodka, Diet Coke, never full fat. And the car has to be on time. Flowers in my dressing room. There must be lilies, not roses. Apple juice for my breakfast with toast and scrambled egg. Um, proper knife and fork. Uh, flowers in the toilet. What date would you like me? Not asking for much, is he? Silver Clay. I'm going to have to look this up. Uh, Sandra, Charlotte Newland hasn't replied to her email yet. I'm thinking she might be away because I've not seen anything from her on Instagram recently. Exercise. Right, I was going to ask my... Um, Personal trainer come and do that, but he's so like this, and he's had all these new tattoos done, all the workers, and he might frighten you. Cushion making. I think somebody will be coming on to do that anyway, won't they? Uh, leather work. Yoga. Oh, no, I'm not doing yoga. Hang on. Leather work. Yoga. Crystal healing. Got that. Uh, felted landscape pictures. Got that. I'm, yeah, Pauline. Pauline, Pauline, Pauline will come on. Pet rescue. Imagine if we had the studio full of candle. Oh, now we've definitely got candle maker booked. I know she's booked. Not candle books, candle maker. I know she's definitely booked. East 15, Penny Allen, my niece, East 15. They are all my friends that went to East 15. They're all a bit crazy. That's my own personal opinion, not the opinion of anybody else. Um, I did sword fighting. I did uh, stunt sword fighting when I was training myself under Malcolm Ransom. Will the advert be on Facebook? Yes, June, I'll send you your own personal invitation. Don't you worry. Wood burning. Oh, now, now there's somebody around here that does that. It's got a special name, hasn't it? They burn out the um, the shape. Jilly. Animals vet. But you've said that once already. Growing veg. Yeah, that might take a while because because uh, one week all I'll be doing is putting the seed in, isn't it? And then three weeks later, you'll come back and see a carrot. Right. OK. Oh, blimey, I'm so pyrography. That's what that's called. Thank you. Pyrography, thank you. Herbs, that's a nice one. Herbs for health. Right here. How about drying flowers? Oh, now, funny about you, should mention about lavender, is my next door neighbour, Chris, next door, said, uh, when's Danny the gardener coming next? And I was like, what do you mean? She went, your lavender is perfect for picking right now, and she wants to make some lavender bags. So I've just told her to go in the garden and pick it, so goodness knows what's going to happen. Millinery. I think we've got a milliner. Already booked. Viewer of the week slot. No. Right. OK, so you can join in. You can join in. Right. But each week we're going to have a competition. You know, like Ken Bruce is. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What's it called? His thing at half past ten. Not Master Chef. What's it called? What's Ken Bruce's? I'm not doing carbon. 
car I can't get a car in the studio. Imagine there's a drive, we could do it outside, I suppose. Um What's it called? What's Ken Bruce's thing called? But we're going to have a competition every where two people uh, answer sewing questions and you'll get a John Scott pencil for joining in and whoever wins will get a prize. Might be an apron or a tea towel or something like that. Nothing big. We haven't got any money. Uh, Christmas scent bags. Beverly doesn't know what colour she wears. She's short, fat and an albina. Oh, Beverly. I'll come and have a look at your pictures in a minute. Oh, interview with Super Vet. That's just because you fancy him. Could you repeat... The infamous Blue Peter baby elephant segment. No, Derek, we can't. Bristol's got a good suit. Oh, that's just down the road, isn't it? We could have someone making a pet accessory. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Weft blown on Facebook. Oh, weaving and spinning. Oh, weft blown. Hang on. I'm going to run out of space and time. We... Today's was only supposed to be a short one. Perfume. Oh, perfumes. Yes, that's, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Personal perfumes. Oh, actually, there's a lady here who does her own... Um, what they're called. Diffusers. Diffusers. Uh, never work with pets and children. No, exactly. I'll come on for free. Well, everyone's having to come on for free at the moment, Sally. Show you how I've put a... Oh, I <laughs> Sally said, so I'll come on for free and show you how I've put a stone on over lockdown. You collect sea glass from the beach. Oh, crack, I'm so behind. How about a visit to Cannon Hall Farm? Where's that? I don't know where that is. Bring on an animal in each week. Oh, no, that needs a home. No, I'd, I'd take them all home. Crystal prescription, yeah, definitely. Fleur, so we've got Fleur written down. Uh, Macrame, that, yeah. Real life dolls, princess, what do, you, what do you mean by that? Punch embroidery, I've got that down the list. Attractors in Northern Ireland, oh, there you go. Oh yeah, protractor, yeah, attract, attractor, we'll sort it, we'll sort it, we'll sort it. So totally Trisha, I don't know who that is. I've seen her things on Instagram, I think though. Curse your top. Yeah, she won't come. Dance. I'll do dance. I'll do the dance. The Barony Century in West Kilbride will get from... That's a long way to go to start with, but yes. Is that sewing place then? Teddy bear making. Yeah, glass Sue Quinn. Embellishing. Yeah. MCC products are fabulous. What's MCC? Is that the motorbike centre? Oh, yeah, MCC motorbike. Yeah, I've got that one. Doll faces, yeah, Sue Quint bears of our Sue Quint. Sally Ann Harrison's coming. Calendars. Uh, oh, actually, oh, yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, maybe Sally Ann Harrison could do the cushion one. Somebody just asked about cushions, didn't they? No, hang on. No, Sally Ann Harrison, she does that weird crochet that's got a funny name like Pongamongu or something like that. Hasn't it? Pong, 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 something like that, anyway. Uh, weddings. Pilates, yoga and well-being. Yes, Pam Minihani. Maybe you could come on and be the, 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 the um, you know, the, the guest that lies on the floor. Recipes. Oh, yes, that's a good one, Carol. Diane, sugar crafting, making fashion sugar. Oh, that's nice. Fashion designers. I'm not sure if they come on, though, Rachel, but we could ask them. Get my, He's got two dogs, Wendy. He's got two dogs. Self-hypnosis. Lo, you'll be too busy doing jewellery to be doing hypnosis as well. Review of textile courses as the show's going online directory of different regions. Yes, definitely. Well, the whole website will have all sorts of information on it that we've been talking about. I don't know why my nose is itchy. I don't know if I've got a long hair that's sticking down my nose. My daughter in law is an OPT. I don't know what an OPT is. Pat, you are late because we're running late as well. We should have gone by now because it's 12 08. Never gone on this long before. Alteration clothes, yeah. Ben says, What are you talking about? We're talking about the John Scott show, Ben. The new show, the John Scott show. What about book folding? Make pictures out of books. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Paper crafting. Rag rug. That's down on the list, I think, Margaret, already. Rag rugs. Blimey. Uh, Tim Wilds is on Facebook. Has a website written two books with Diana Cooper. Oh, so Tim Wilds, obviously, about um, angels, then, is he? But I better go. How funny is Alistair? Yeah, very funny. Kerry, the cake is it's on his page. Love Alistair. You're going to be busy. I know, exactly. Alistair. Oh, look, they're all, they're all Alistair, Alistair, Alistair. You'll be having a what's my trade quiz. Not heard of something. Yeah, exactly. Liberace. Liberace can't come on. I think he's dead, isn't he? Stump work. No idea what that is. But I'm going to have to stop now because I've gone way over my time. 
how to de-stress your shoulders from too much sewing, lace making. Uh, Jane's on, Jane's on, Jane's on, Jane's on, Jane's on already. How to incubate waitress eggs, corsetry. Oh, that's a nice one, corsetry. I used to be good at making corsets back in the day. Macram, make competition, we're doing competitions, don't you worry. Sewing room furniture, machine embroidery machine, ice carving. But we'll have to do that in the winter when it's a bit cold. No, Claire, you can't. No, you can't do that, Claire. Coats for dogs. Pop master. Oh, blimey, I'm way behind, don't I? Don't worry, Janice, my love, I'm way behind as well. Pencil, yeah, you get a pencil. Lace making. Can you show something about dressmaking? Yes, I'll do that. Zumba gold. No, is that a chocolate? Uh, right, okay. Oh, blimey, I'm so far. But Tunisian crochet. Oh, there's also those, Tunisian crochet. I think I've already gotten that on the list, actually, but I'll double check. Sculpture. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the Barbara Hepworth. I went to college there, you know, Jilly. Bretton Hall, Barbara Hepworth sculptures. Amigur Army, that's it. Right, Louisa Gold, yeah, she's on the list. Amigur Army, there you go. Uh, Linda, it's uh, £10 a month or six months for £49.99. Luna Lapin, she's already down. Dressmaking, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'm not having got one on. Who said that? Vanessa, no, sorry, Gok's not coming on. Uh, my daughter makes Christmas decorations with pheasant feathers and spent cartridges. Oh, I'll have to pop round at Christmas to see those. Barnsley, West Yorkshire. He's got two dogs, Wendy. Are they both Jack Russells? They're both noisy. When you go round, they just yap the whole time. Got occupational therapist. Oh, I see. I've already got that right. Tom Hardy's not available. Already asked him. Uh, there's John Cole. Look, John Jack. How's your car? 24th of September it's launching. Youngsters sewing. Yeah. June says, I don't know what we're going to say. I love it when you say, I don't know what we're going to talk about. An hour later. It's more than an hour. So. Mudlarking. What's that? Mudlarking. Card stitching. Right, I'm going to have to quickly stump. Oh, it's embroidery. Beeswax wraps. Oh, now somebody sent me some beautiful beeswax wraps when I was at sewing quarter. Uh, Helen McC oh, Helen McCook does it. Bola da, Nan. I'm running too late. Well, the difference is, Martina, Martina, the difference is, because mine's not a sewing show, I have no targets to meet. Sewing Street can't, I mean, they can if they want to, they want to have any of them, but they have to make money within the hour. So they have to sell things. So some of these things, some of these, like, like they would never do a show just on zips. Because they'd never make enough for the hour just do zips. Well, I can do an hour of zips because I'm not selling anything, am I? Memory bears. History of button making. Uh, Sandra, Pavers, Pavers TV isn't, uh, isn't on anymore. They, they sold the channel. So, no. And also, they said we were going to go back and do filming for the website. But obviously, then the virus hit in, didn't it? Um, Dorset button making. Are they like... Suffolk Puffs. Oh, Sandra, my reading. Yeah. So I had a reading this week. I know a lovely blacksmith. Oh, Pam, where's she based then? Oh, Wendy says chat as long as you like. Yes, I know, but doesn't somebody else come on at 12 on a Sunday? I don't want to be taking their um space. Uh, my reading was fantastic. So um, it was from a lady called Paula who lives in France. And I've known her for years. She's the one years ago who told making something from something old. Well, that's a nice one. That's upcycling, though, isn't it, um, Janice? Um, she's the one who told me about sewing quarter about four years before, three years before sewing quarter happened. Uh, she told me that the John Scott show is going to be a huge success. Uh, there's no love in my life for a little while to be. Norman and Elia with my nan, along with Ming, who was the cat that my mum got when I was born. Uh, mudlarking is what they do on the banks of them finding old things what stop on the shore oh Lorna I don't think I'd want to do that I haven't got any wellies anyway um what else did you tell me oh she told me all lots of lovely positive things lots and lots and lots of lovely positive things so it's all going to be good it's all going to be fantastic um but I better get on with it look because I've got not only I've got all the designers now to slot them into the days and the times and everything I need to find what all these new things are and all that sort of stuff and I've got to poly. Oh, and I've got some more masks for Julie as well to send to Julie. None eaten. Oh, okay. 
Nuneaton. Hello, Karen. Just tuned in. Just, I'm just as well, Karen. I'm not normally here by now. Look, it's 12.14. I've got to go. I've got to go. Got to get to the shops as well. Ish. Ish, Kath says. We can see something that... Hang on. No, no, no. Yes, but things that... Yes, uh, yeah. uh, I need a PA. How do we sign up? Louise, it'll be going out this week how you sign up. It'll be going out this week. It'll all, all the information. There's an advert. Hello, old Jane. Thank you. Have to go... I know, sorry, <laughs> Ali, I've witted on far too much today. I went to a fascinating exhibition on buttons at the Craft Centre in Rithin. My dent friend Di lives in Rithin. Uh, it'll be on a Thursday, Carol, 11 till 1. Right, I'm going to go now. I'm definitely going to go. Can you send... Of course I can. Right, I'm going to go. Thanks for all, thank you for all jo joining in and chatting and everything. I'll see you on uh, Thursday and I'll try and do, should we try and do some sewing on Thursday? <gasps> I haven't done any sewing for ages. Have a lovely day, all of you. Wendy, Diane, oh, time to get out for lunch. Husband's treating her. That's nice. I've got so much to do. You know those days when you get up and you think, oh, I've got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. And then you kind of get a bit, <gasps> oh, I'm not going to get it all done. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Take care, John. Get your car fixed. He didn't reply about his car, did he? Or did he? Did it go past? Didn't see what happened. His car broke down and Hannah, producer Hannah, had to go on yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? Anyway, uh, I'm going now anyway, Jean. Don't worry. I'm going now. Lovely. Thank you, Anne. Thank you ever so much. Uh, bye for now, Ben. See you later. Ben, will you come on as a guest? You can make one of your cushions or something like that. Anyway, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Bye, 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 bye. See you later. Bye, Jilly. Thank you. Yeah, message me later. Marcia, bye. Take care, my love. I can see loads of pictures of Marcia at the side, going up the side of my thing. Bye.